The main thing that gets in the way of manifesting desires is our own conscious reasoning mind. We need to believe we have already received what we want to manifest. However, our reasoning mind is thinking, well, where is it? I don't see it with my eyes. I don't feel it with my hands. There's nothing tangible for our conscious reasoning mind to accept that we have already received what we want to manifest. And so therefore, our reasoning mind is in the way of our manifestation process. It's, it's, it's interfering the manifestation process. It's not allowing us to align our vibrational frequency because our reasoning mind is always thinking that we have to be doing something at all times or that we have to figure, it, figure out exactly what we need to do step by step in order to even believe we can get what we want. And so what, one thing you can do is, of course, meditate and learn how to quiet your mind and find that inner stillness, and then you'll drop that resistance and your desires will manifest. However, for those who have difficulty meditating or quieting your mind, there is a technique for you, one I learned from the book Banned Manifestation Secrets by Richard Dots. He calls it manifestation cards. And first of all, he was explaining that situation where our conscious reasoning mind is always thinking that it has to be doing something and that it has to figure out exactly what to do in order to believe. And so he said, if you can't quiet that conscious reasoning mind, give it something to do. Give it a distraction. And that would keep it from interfering with our manifestation process. And it's a very simple technique, but very effective. Uh, what you simply do is get a 3 by 5 index card or a business card, and you write down your intentions on that card, and you carry it around with you. You can simply write down, I intend, and then fill in the blank. And then you carry it with you in your pocket or in your wallet, and whenever you think about what you want to manifest, you look at your cards. But what makes this in um, what what makes this law of attraction technique effective is to don't write down your manifestation cards in order to get what you want. Write it down and, while knowing that it is a reality on some level. That desire that you want to manifest is already a reality on some level. So with that perspective, write down your intentions on your cards. Now, I also want to mention another thing. As I was doing my research for this video, something told me to look. Uh, I, have, I have this notebook from a couple of years back when I first started this uh, channel. And I came across uh, these notes that I wrote down from unity.com, unitymagazine.com, and it was an interview with Eckhart Tolle, one of my favorite authors, the author of Power of Now. And I kind of forgot that I wrote down these notes, but things happen for a reason, and I stumbled upon these old notes that I wrote down, and it's amazing that Eckhart Tolle himself, the author of The Power of Now that changed my life and helped so many people around the world, applied this technique in his own I guess, uh, variation, instead of a 3 by 5 card, what he did is, before he wrote The Power of Now, what he did, and this is from his own words, I believe it was unitymagazine.com or um, eckhartolle.com, he said that what he did is he, he wrote down on a piece of paper, book, and he circled it, and underneath he wrote down the different things that he wanted to uh, the different things that he wanted this book to do in the world. He, he wrote down all the different goals that he wanted to uh, achieve with this book, that it's going to be translated in all these different languages, it's going to be published all around the world, that it's going to positively affect people's lives. And eventually he wrote The Power of Now, and everything came into physical manifestation. And so when I read that, I thought, wow, what a coincidence. Not really a coincidence, it happened for a reason, but I thought, wow, I was just researching Manifestation Cards by Richard Dots, very similar. So that's what I'm doing now. I am combining those two techniques. I get these little cards, 3 by 5 cards, and I actually make them a little bit smaller. I cut them in half, and I write down my intentions, but simply write down either one or two words, and I circle it, and different things of that different uh, qualities of that certain manifestation underneath that word. And I carry the cards around with me. And also Eckhart Tolle said that you have to, to make this technique effective, he himself said that he didn't write down the word book and circled it in order, in order to manifest it later on. He said when he wrote down that word book and circled it on that piece of paper, he knew that it was a reality on some level. And he was totally describing exactly what I was just researching in that book, Bad Manifestation Secrets. So Eckhart Tolle totally used the Law of Attraction. He manifested that book, The Power of Now. And this is one technique that he used. So if you have trouble 
quieting your conscious reasoning mind, having trouble believing you have already received, know that that desire is already real on some level, even though it's not seen, it, even though it's invisible, it's, it's a reality on some level. And write down on a little piece of, a, a little either index card or business card, your intentions and know that it's real on some level. So carry it around with you. So whenever you think about it, you can look at it and it can be a quick reminder. And it can help you carry on that vibrational frequency, that alignment, so you can continue on allowing your desires to manifest in your life.